What is up everybody? Welcome back to the Maths Guy. Today we are looking at equivalent fractions and what that means. So let's waste no time, let's jump into it. Okay, so the first thing we need to think about is step one, equivalent means the same value. So it means we've got a fraction, for example this one half, but we make it look different by giving it different numbers, but we keep it the same value. And to do that, we can use multiplication and division. So that might sound confusing. Let's learn. Now, the first thing to learn is what our two numbers are called on our fraction. So if we look at this fraction here, we have one half. Well, the number on the top, in this case a one, is called our numerator. And the number on the bottom is called our denominator. So understanding these two terms right at the start of this is really important. Now, like I say, an equivalent fraction holds the same value, but will have different looking numerators and denominators. Now let's use these two chocolate bars, our bar models over here, to show what I mean. So if we make this first chocolate bar a half, which is what we've got here as our example, we would cut our chocolate bar down the middle and create two equal halves. Remember, fraction has to be equal. So my blue half is the same as my pink half. But that's not the only way we could have chopped this chocolate bar. What I could have done is chop it into four equal parts. So cutting in half and then cutting these halves into half again. That would mean that each of these sections is worth one quarter. We can see that each of them is the same and they each hold the value of one quarter. Now, if I wanted to have as much chocolate bar in this second one as I had in the first one, I would have to not have one quarter, but I would need to have another one too. So I would have two quarters. And we can see that my blue section is the same value, the same amount. But in this fraction, we were cut into quarters. So my denominator was quarters. And I had two of them to make my equivalent fraction. So therefore, one half is equivalent to two quarters. So two quarters is an equivalent fraction. And we could keep going. I could make another chocolate bar down here, but this time I could chop it not just into quarters, but into eighths by cutting all of these quarters into half again. That means each of these individual sections has a value of one eighth. Well, how many eighths do I need to get to my half, which will be all of this blue section? Well, I need one eighth, two eighths, three eighths, and four eighths. So one half equals four eighths. So this is one way of looking at it, by drawing these individual pictures. But step two said that I could use multiplication and division. Let's see what that means. So if I start again with my one half, and let's put it into this first chocolate bar, I have one half, which means I have this shaded area here. But I know that if I had cut my pizza or my chocolate bar or whatever it is into four, that I would actually have two quarters. So one half is equivalent to two quarters. So let's look at how we can use multiplication to help us understand this a bit clearer. Let's have a look at our denominators here. Well, I started with two and I ended up with a four. So how did I get from two to four? Well, I multiplied it by two. And let's have a look at our top numerator. I started with a one and I ended up with a two. And how did I get from one to two? Well, I also multiplied by two. And because we've done the same to the bottom as we have done to the top number, or the same to the numerator as we have to the denominator, by multiplying it by two, we are going to end up with an equivalent fraction. This part might sound a bit confusing because we haven't got these bar models to look at and check, but let's have another go. Let's see what happens if I multiply my two, this time by four. Well, two times four is eight. Okay, well remember, what I do to the denominator, the number at the bottom, I have to do to the numerator if I want it to stay equivalent. So one times four equals four. Okay, four eighths is my equivalent fraction. 
And I can check that on my chocolate bar over here by cutting my chocolate into eight. So here we go. There we go, I have eight equal parts. And I think that four of them, so one, two, three, four, is equivalent to half. Well, I can see that it is. Good job. Whoa, whoa, whoa. If you're not a subscriber yet, make sure you press that subscribe button. It really helps the channel out. Thanks very much. Let's get back to the video. Let's look at a different one. Let's look at two sixths. So two sixths on our chocolate bar would look like this. I've cut my chocolate into six and I have one, two of them. Okay, well, let's see if I can make some equivalent fractions. Let's see if I cut my chocolate bar this time into 12, which you can see I've done by just putting another line horizontally through my chocolate bar. So each of these little sections is worth one twelfth. So how many twelfths do I need to be equivalent to my two sixths? So I'm gonna draw this little box here so we know how much I need. Well, I'm gonna need one, two, three, four. So therefore, four twelfths is equivalent to two sixths. And let's check that by checking our multiplication is correct. So how did we get from six to 12? We multiplied by two. And how do I get from two to four? I multiplied by two. So because we multiplied the numerator by two and the denominator by two, we know it has to be equivalent. Awesome job again. But so far, we've only looked at multiplication. Let's see how we can use division to find equivalent fractions too. So I'm gonna draw my two sixths again in this top box. There we go, I'm gonna get my one, two sixths, good. But I want to try and divide my fraction and see if I can find another equivalent fraction. So let's divide my two by two. So two divided by two equals one. Now whatever I did to the numerator, I'm gonna to do to the denominator. So I'm gonna do my six divided by two as well. That equals three. So I think one third is an equivalent fraction or has the same value. Let's see. This time I'm gonna get my chocolate bar and I'm gonna just cut it into thirds. There we go. Each of these sections is worth one third. Now I'm trying to find an equivalent fraction of two sixths. So it's gonna be all over this part and we can see that one third has the same value, or in other words, is equivalent to two sixths. Great job. Let's look at what to remember. Equivalent means that the fraction will have the same value. For example, one half has the same value as two quarters. If someone said to you, do you want one half of my pizza or two quarters of my pizza, it doesn't matter because it is the same. It just looks different. To make equivalent fractions, we can use multiplication or division. But remember, whatever we do to the numerator, we must do to the denominator to make sure it stays equivalent. Your turn. Have a go at answering these two questions and find a couple, which means maybe one or two, equivalent fractions for them. So find some equivalent fractions to four-fifths and find some equivalent fractions to one quarter. If you'd like to draw chocolate bars, go for it. Or if you'd like to just use multiplication division facts, you can do that too. Put your answers in the comment section. I'm going to try and mark them all. And there we have it. That is how to find equivalent fractions. We've used both bar models and we've used multiplication and division to help us. If this video has been helpful for you guys, share it with a friend that you think would benefit from this as well. But for now, I'll see you in another video. Peace out.